FCS Express integrates T-distributed stochastic neighbor embedding, otherwise known as TISNI, which is a tool that allows you to map high-dimensional cytometry data on a two-dimensional plot while conserving the original high-dimensional structure to help you visualize and analyze high-dimensional data. To access the TISNI interface, select the Tools tab in the ribbon. Select Transformations. From the Transformations window, add a new transformation and select TISNI from the drop-down menu. This is where the settings of the TISNI transformation will be selected. We can decide to automatically calculate TISNI, apply a gate from our layout, select a template file, select the parameters to be contained within the transformation, and then the axis scaling for each of those parameters. If you scroll down, you can see the sampling and transformation options. You may change your downsampling method and sample size under the sample options. Transformation specific options such as the amount of approximation are located under the transformation options. Once the settings of your TISNI have been selected, you may drag and drop a transformation onto an existing plot in the layout to apply a transformation. You can see the title has been updated to reflect that the transformation is applied. If you would like to create an additional plot with this transformation on the previously created gated region, you can drag and drop the gate into an open space in the layout, which will create a gated plot based on the transformed data. You can now change the parameters to TISNI X and TISNI Y to display the transformation parameters. You may also right click or double click on a plot to open up the format window. Under the Overlays tab, you may select the transformation to be applied to the plot. Once you click OK, the title reflects that the transformation has been applied. The option to use density plots with heat mapping is available. To do so, select the current TISNI plot in the layout and select the Format tab in the ribbon. At this point, we can move our transformations window or close it. Closing the window will not affect the current transformation. We can reopen the window if we need to make additional changes. Select the change plot type and select the plot type to density plot. To add a specific parameter to a density plot, right click on the plot and select format. Under the legends tab, select visible and click OK to apply. We can now change the parameter of the legend, which will update the density heat map to reflect that parameter. We may duplicate this plot by right-clicking and selecting Duplicate and change the parameter found in the legend to create a TISNI heat map for each parameter found within our transformation. Gates may be created on TISNI plots and used to view backgated populations on color dot plots. Moving the gate on the TISNI plot will result in real-time updates on the backgated color dot plots. TISNI is a resource-intensive algorithm. Given that TISNI is a highly demanding algorithm, the de novo software's team made a great effort to improve its speed within FCS Express. Please visit our website to learn more about our TISNI speed test. If you have any questions, please email us at support at denovosoftware.com.